Is it too late to cast Johnny Lever as uh, Dev? Johnny Lever? Yeah. He'd be a great Dev. Either him, I'm saying Johnny Lever, Govinda, or Prabhu. I'm going Johnny Lever, though. Definitely. (laughs) Box office success. Throw them all off. Make it Radhika. (laughs) I'd be down. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex Seeds Record. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content, links to paper, Today we got a video that's called The Idli King of Bangalore. The Idli King of Bangalore! Uh, it's on the streets of Bangalore, India. The mother and son duo behind the uh, sir, hundreds of Idlis a day. He, um, and so. All right. That is cool. Uh, love Idlis. Idlis are delicious, especially with the nice chutneys. You know, I'm trying to think of a food, and I can't. Pizza. Is there a food from India that we've had mm. that you don't like? And I'm not talking about like something like the breath thing of a pan or hajmola for digestives. I'm talking about anything from breakfast, lunch, dinner, and official desserts that you would say, I don't ever want to eat that again. Because I can't think of one. Uh, it depends on, I mean, spice levels is also. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't count. That's obvious. That's obvious. You can only handle certain things heat-wise. But I'm talking flavors, like the taste of something that you didn't want to eat again. If, that you taste it and you were like, no, that's nasty. If stuff has rose in it, and there's quite a bit of stuff that has had rose in it, that's usually the case. Um, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Usually yeah. it's a good flavor. It's just too spicy a lot of times. And equally blown away by each of the regions we've gotten to taste as well. Like yeah. they'll... Um, just, but don't say that to the guy from the UK who said that all Indian foods bland. And he also said it's one spice. Yeah, it's just one spice, which is the dumbest thing you. He could also have thinks the world is flat. <laughs> so, a lot of people have told me this. You know that you know I was really gutsy and I had a lot of courage to let go of a lucrative career in investment banking to start selling idlis. When we started off Iron Italy in 2001, nobody had the slightest clue that we would reach this far. Idlis are fun to eat. I'm an old-timer here. Let's say I've been eating at Iron Idlis ever since he started. The standard is the Iron Idli. Right? I do eat out. Uh, we also go to some fancy, swanky restaurants and come back. But the standard is Iron Idli. I can, I can feel that, the puffiness of it. Yeah, the squishy puffy. Hi, I'm Krishan Mahadevan. I'm the owner of a restaurant called as Ayur Idli. We've been in this business for the last 20 plus years and we focus on South Indian food. Hey, I'm Uma. First, we started in 2001, September 27. A couple weeks after 9-11. Ayur Idli is known for its idli. For the last 19 plus years, it was one of the only restaurants in Bangalore that was known to make only one dish. That was the idli and obviously the chutney. And then yes, owing to customer demand, the newer breakfast items like the vada, karabat, the and the kese bath were introduced. Every Sunday, if I'm going to the church, I come here and feed myself on ayur idli. It's very fresh. It's very tasty. Imagine this gentleman has survived only on idli and chutney. That talks about how delicious that stuff is. Idli is a predominant South Indian breakfast. Two main ingredients that go into making the idli are the rice and the urad dal. Idli is a steamed rice cake. The batter which is in a liquid state gets converted into a solid state through steaming. Now, the making of an idli is not an instant process. No. The first step is to soak the rice, which happens the previous night. And the dal is soaked for like about an hour or an hour and a half. So once the rice and the dal are soaked enough, we grind them. So this is the batter for the dal that that is being ground. And then the rice is already ground. So I will mix the dal with the rice batter and allow it to ferment. And this will be your idli for tomorrow. We have plates with bumps and you will have a muslin cloth on top of a plate 
and then you'll have craters on which the batter goes in and then it is steamed until it is cooked completely and that's your idli. வரும் <laughs> I usually start our day at 4 in the morning. I'm an early bird. I prefer waking up really early in the morning. So I'm up before sunrise every day. We get the chutney ready and, and by 6.30 we ensure that it is ready on the table. We're open till 11.30 in the morning and that doesn't mean that we can wrap up by 11.35. We ensure everything's ready for evening and we shut shop by about say 12, 12.15. Evening again we start our day at 4 p.m. Uh, we get the chutney ready before 6 o'clock. In the evening 6 p.m. we ensure that the idlis are ready. and we operate till 9 pm in the night for idlis again yeah i thought it was Italy. just it's not just for breakfast anymore i'm a die hard bangalorean i've i've been here all my life so this place is really close to me so the year was 2001 and my dad had just quit his job and then the area was just beginning to develop you had a lot of bachelors coming in because that's when a lot of companies started coming to bangalore to establish their offices people were so engrossed in work and they didn't have time to cook so and that's when the the idea of selling idli dosa batter struck him the first step for ayur idli to grow was the batter business and then people started asking you selling batter why not convert the batter into idlis and sell it to the public when a daily or no idli no tambar idli pona jaasti sunday 253 gante idli po and madri appra bachelors la vandu evening open pannunga apdina appra evening open pannuvena konja konjama pick up aachu nam husband na full full gotcha ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> at a very young age i was given the challenge i was given the opportunity to make a lot of decisions throughout my academic life i used to spend some time in the shop in the morning then go to college come back from college and spend more time in shop in the evening i started working you know at the age of 22 i finished my post graduation i started teaching in a college then i moved on to work for time inc and then i moved to you know an investment bank where i spent about 4 years working I probably might have switched three jobs but the only thing that was constant in my life was I really I used to spend about 4 5 hours of of my time in shop go to office log in for about 15 16 hours or probably more than that come back home in the middle of the night get a couple of hours of rest and then next morning again my routine starts as much as I would enjoy it it would start to take a toll on my health as well I bet that's when I one one fine morning I woke up and I realized what am I doing with my life how long am I going to sustain juggling three four things at the same time if i have to give up one i have to retain one what would it be that was the biggest dilemma it took me three months to convince my manager and it took me three years to convince my mother as to why i should quit a corporate job and you know manage my business this is one memory of my father that i have and it and i didn't want to let go of it my heart and soul lies here so i didn't want to try and juggle two three things at the same time instead i wanted to give my heart and soul to what i love doing and that's Good what i'm doing right now A lot of people have told me this, you know, that you know I was really gutsy and I had a lot of courage to let go of a lucrative career in investment banking to start selling idlis. I mean, obviously when when we started off Ayur Idli in 2001, nobody had the slightest clue that we would reach this far. First of all, to start from both the எப்படி பண்ணணும் ஏது பண்ணணும் தெரியாது கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமா பிக்க பாச்சு பட் ஆனா இவ்வளவு தூரம் பிக் பாக்க ஆகும் நான் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் பண்ணவே இல்லை 
कंटिन्यूसली आता रहता है एटलीस्ट वीकेंड में तो आ ही जाता हूँ मैं यहाँ पंद्रह सालों से आ रहा हूँ आई हैव बिन कमिंग सिंस आई वॉज थ्री अराउंड फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स आई ओनली डिस्कवर द प्लेस लाइक वन ईयर एगो मैं नॉर्थ इंडिया से हूँ इडली उतना पसंद नहीं है लेकिन यहाँ का इडली मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है इसका टेस्ट बहुत अच्छा है एक तो स्पंजी है और टेस्ट इसका बहुत अच्छा है दे आर सुपर सॉफ्ट एंड आई थिंक द यू एस पी इज द चटनी मोस्टली इट्स रियली स्पाइसी आई जस्ट लव द टेस्ट मोस्टली इडली आई लाइक टू हैव वड़ा मदर इन लॉ लव देयर खारा भात केसरी भात ऑल्सो इट्स क्वेट सिंपल द मेनू इज सो कॉम्पैक्ट इट्स सो इजी टू ऑर्डर एंड टेन रुपी फोर पीस इट्स Phenomenal. New color workers, white color workers, moms packing food. Everybody has their, uh, I would say, healthy breakfast here, and move on to their different disciplines. It's my dream to provide affordable food to all the people. People don't come to me for ambience. People don't come to me because I'm located at a posh area. People don't come to me because I have fancy interiors. No, people come to me because I serve good food, mm. and that's my focus. I want to see that smile on someone's face when they've eaten a good meal. And you know, when I see that smile, like all my struggles and worries just fly away. I don't think I am an icon yet. According to me, you can't you can't really quantify these things. But yeah, I go to bed peacefully at night. So I guess I'm successful that way. It's a big deal. That is a big deal. Always do what you love. Do what you love, even if it's difficult, even if it's hard, even if other people are telling you you're a moron. Um, yeah, even if it's not lucrative, it's just you'll be happier in the end. We were doing what you want, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. You might, your what makes you happy in life might be in the corporate world. Who knows yeah, what, what exactly. it is? Exactly, someone else that might really be what floats their boat. We were talking about this driving over here. Um, the 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 how many people one of the top 10 things that nurses and people who are at the bedside of people who pass away one of the top 10 things they hear from people who when they're dying and have lived a long life especially is i wish i had followed my dreams i wish i had been more true to myself i wish i hadn't done what other people expected of me um so yeah that's my favorite takeaway from this i'd love to try the food but my favorite takeaway from this is the fact that he gave up and i I, very clearly, obviously, his mom is going to be saying, why are you doing that? And he explained himself, and she clearly supports him. What were you saying? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't know what he just said, but follow what you like doing, and uh, go hug your mother. Is that what you were saying? No, okay. but that's okay. Okay. I heard something about your mom. I don't know. Yeah, you know you did. I just got really horny. Yep. Anyways, let us know what the videos we can react to down below. Josh! <laughs>